Like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, there is no place like home for the Denver Broncos, especially during the playoffs. They come to the wrong house, my brother. They come to the wrong house. Ah, ah, ah. Let's rock, baby. We got to turn it up. Got to turn it up. It's time to rumble. The AFC's top-ranked defense came out swinging. You ain't gonna catch none of that on me today. Unfortunately, the Houston Oilers came out scoring. Hey! Hey! Keep your poise! Let's keep your poise! Come on, man! Denver's poise was severely tested as Houston scored touchdowns on their first three possessions. They want to go deep, man. They want to go deep now. They think they can blow us out. But instead of a blowout, the defense patched up the holes and began battling back, creating ways to get its offense back on the field. Coming back on that They should have let us in the game. Each time the game appeared to be slipping away, John Elway calmly grabbed the reins and headed the Broncos back in the right direction. Elway from the gun. This is a fourth down play. Being flushed out. Here's the pass. Caught by Young. First down. Gets away. 30, 25, 20. He's down to the 16-yard line. Michael Young's clutch effort set up the first of two short yardage touchdowns by Greg Lewis, number 41. And Elway would pass for another to Vance Johnson. Hit the zone, the zone, the zone. Back he goes, there's the pass, touchdown, Vance With less than seven minutes remaining, Denver closed to within a single point at 24 to 23. Now, it was up to the defense to rough up the Oilers and get the ball back. With the Broncos' main hope stuck on the bench, Denver's defense, led by Carl Mecklenburg, rose up to stop the Oilers. The dogged determination of the Denver defense had set the stage for another legendary comeback. And things looked good until the ball was kicked. This scenario was taking on a painfully familiar look. We got the ball, we got the ball on the two. However, five years earlier in Cleveland, the Broncos actually had more time to work their magic. Hey, D, it ain't over yet, though, baby. It ain't over yet. I'm sorry, baby. It ain't over. It ain't over, baby. It ain't over yet. I mean, you couldn't ask for more. John Elway has a chance here. It's a long way to go. Denver at the two-yard line. They're 98 yards away from six, but they don't need six. They only need three. This, baby. this game is far from over. I've seen this club move too many times to think it's over. 24-23 the score. Elway in the shotgun and in the end zone. Here's his pass. It's caught. Young makes it out of the 24 yard. Denver had escaped from their own end zone. But three plays later, an entire season came down to one very big play. It's the game right here. Four for six. It's the game. We need this. Down to a minute 28. Elway, he's got some time. Flushed out. Rolls out. Being changed. Three plays later, another fourth down. And this time, 10. Patient under pressure and calm amidst the chaos, Elway reached deep into his pocket full of miracles to pull out still one more magnificent moment. God, dang, come on. Here's the fourth down and 10 play. Elway's got the ball. John is back, runs up out of the pocket, lets the pass go. It's caught. Johnson to the 40, 35. Unbelievable. 
John Elway had further enhanced his reputation as the ultimate escape artist. A quarterback who always seemed cornered, but never conquered. And Vance Johnson's stunning catch and carry ushered the Broncos into field goal range. Unbelievable. If I had seen it with my own eyes, I don't think I'd believe it. Steve Sewell carried the Broncos 10 yards closer to victory's threshold. Sewell swings to the 20, to the 15, to the Tell you, you ought to knight the guy. Gave us a chance, that's all. Denver's offense had run 11 plays without a timeout in less than two minutes. Now it was up to holder Gary Kubiak and kicker David Treadwell. Kubiak will hold. Here's the snap. The kick is. There is no statistic for poise, but that is what made the Denver Broncos champions. It's a great feeling, though. You got to remember this feeling. You don't get these feelings very often. You know? You've got a game that you love to win. Tell me, oh. what you doing here because of John? Yeah. Fueled by the fiery spirit of John Elway and talented teammates excited by his daring play, the 1991 Denver Broncos persevered and believed when no one else did, battling back to become comeback champions once more.